What's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Millionaire E, coming at you with a TV show episode review. Now, the TV show episode review we're going to be talking about is My Hair Academia, episode 11, season 5. Now, before I get started, spoiler alert for anyone who's not seen the episode yet. I don't want to spoil it for you, and if you've not seen the, the series, check out my first video where I talked about the series, not about this, this season. So, let's get started. Now, before we get started... I'm going to kind of, you know, give you all kind of a remembrance of our last episode because this is almost like a part two to that part one episode. So, Class A and Class B, they start fighting. And you've got Shinshido, Brainwash Quirk, Mona, Copy Quirk. Dude has twin impact quirk, meaning he can basically say like a bullet, you shoot a bullet gun, but he can make the force of the bullet again shoot, which makes it like twin impact. And then you have... The person who can make things big and small. Then you've got Poltergeist Quirk, who can, she can lift stuff, and that's Class B's Quirks. And then you've got Class A, who's got Uruka, who can touch things with her hands, and basically they have no gravity, but until she touches the palms of her fingertips, they'll fall, basically. And then you've got Mina, who has the Acid Quirk, where she can slide, she can shoot acid out of her hands, and last but not least, well not last, you got Meteor, who's got the awful one quirk. Then you've got Minato, who's got the pop-off quirk. Who You know, he can take the balls off his head, throw them, and he can use them as kind of traps. Because if anybody steps on them, they're stuck. But he can't stick to them. So basically, it's, you know, class A versus class B. Now, while this is happening, while Meteor is trying to fight Mona, he unleashes his quirk. So long story short, basically, Uruka saves him. And so now we're in the second episode. So what happens in the second episode is they're ambushed, basically. So, you know, Uruka and Meteor are ambushed by the whole team. And Meteor is like, I'm going to go for Shinshido. So he goes for Shinshido because he knows that Shinshido, if Shinshido gets like anywhere, like basically where they can't find him, Shinshido can surprise, surprise attack them, basically. Because Shinshido's quirk is brainwash. And the weapon that he has, or the equipment that he uses now, is where he can mimic people's voices, which is a really, really good power for your quirk. So not only do is your quirk like where you can make people do what you want, but also you can mimic other people's voices so they won't think that it's you. So that's cool. So, you know, Meteors, he goes after him, and he's fighting him, and the cool thing about it is, Shinchido wanted to fight Midoriya so badly because Shinchido wanted to show Midi Midoriya what he could do, basically, what he's been working for. Because Midoriya defeated him in the first season. And Shinchido's like, I want to show you what I got. I have to tell you, man, Lord of mercy. Shinchido, he he got his butt whooped, but what he what was really cool about it is and what I really like about this series is when the character gets beat they're like oh man I see where I am now I need to train like super hard and that's what Shinchio was like like after the match because basically class A won like they took everybody out Uruka took Mona to jail everything she helped them all and basically at the end you know they get the what you call it reference and they're like okay so let's tell you what you did good and what you did bad so Shinjito was like, I understand now that everybody, not even just class A, but even class B, are all in this kind of mentality of working harder, work harder, work harder, work harder, put in 101%, which can actually be, you know, used in real life because, you know, you got to push, push yourself, go to 101%. Don't go to 100, go beyond, like beyond plus ultra. That's what I'm saying. And so he sees that, and he's like, oh, man, that's super cool. And the cool thing about it is, is this was actually a test for him to get into the hero course. So it was almost kind of like, say, like a pop-up test that they had. And he figured it out. And so I think he got a passing grade, so he's going to go into, into, my, into the class, because hero course. But it was really cool how he kind of trained with all of them. And I have to say, I love Azawa, Shoto Azawa. And because he is the homeroom teacher of class A, basically. And let me tell you, at first glance, this man, you would think this dude hates his students. 
Like he comes to class every single time like, Ugh. but this guy loves his students. Like literally what I kind of, I researched some stuff and I was like, oh, wow. He hated Midoriya. He hated him because of the power, the ability that he had only because it reminded him of All, of All Might. And basically Midoriya was in a phase where he was hurting himself using his quirk. And that's why Azawa hated him. But then as Midoriya kind of progressed, he basically started to like him. So, you know, in this part, in this episode, Azawa was like, he literally was like, Midoriya, what the heck was that? And Midoriya was like, well, um, I actually don't know. I'm going to try to trade better and see what type of quirk that is. And then, you know, Azawa kind of gave some good helpful hints. He was like, good job, Uruka, because he's also talked to Uruka, because he is the only one who was, he talked to Uruka, to Shuyu, and... Kirishima basically and Midoriya in the season four when they were all kind of doing going through that you know Shosky phase where you know it was all it was a lot of stuff in the Shosky air arc basically but he was there with them so you know he's looked at basically Uruka and he's like wow you have progressed you've matured it was like it was a really really nice episode and you saw all the characters and it was like man even though they lost they were they were really good because it showed that they had some they on parts they weren't that good other parts they were really good you know it was a really good episode so the next episode is going to be it's going to be kind of like where i think it's the finish of the training arc and then they might if i'm not mistaken get into my hero my hero villain arc basically where they're talking mostly about the villains if i'm not mistaken because i haven't read i've only read some of the manga so I'm kind of looking forward, kind of looking forward to it because I'm like, some of the villains, I'm kind of like, ooh, it's creepy. So tune into that video. But remember, share it with your fam, like the video, have a blessed day, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified for more videos. And I'll see y'all later, millionaires. Bye, y'all.